Hello Aluxers, welcome back. Today we're going on a worldwide tour of some of the most exclusive clubs for the rich and famous. Some are so secret you wouldn't know they were even there, while others require passcodes and multiple referrals to get a foot in the door. One of the oldest clubs in the world is the Hurlingham Club in London. This club is frequented by old money and royalty and offers all the old world charm of tennis, tea on the lawns, and pigeon shooting. But it also takes up to 15 years to get into as places only open up as older members pass on. For this reason, we've left it off the list because movers and shakers like you, Aluxer, don't have time for that. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 10. Cirque de la Reine, Brussels The Cirque de la Reine is a favorite haunt of many leaders in business, politics, and academia. It offers a range of activities to its members like sailing, golfing, and a smoke room with a selection of imported cigars. Guests can pair their cigar with the perfect wine from their vaulted wine cellar, carrying only the best wines in the world. The club boasts an event space that can host 1,000 guests, as well as 12 private salons for meetings, and are served gourmet meals from their world-class restaurant. And entry is not as straightforward as just paying your membership fees, because applications are all vetted by the board, who have the final say on who gets in. And Aluxers keep watching to discover the hacks for getting in the door of private clubs around the world, without having to go through the official membership application. Number 9. The American Club, Hong Kong The American Club is a cluster of seriously swanky restaurants and bars overlooking the Victoria Harbor in Hong Kong. This elite hub for business and pleasure is the perfect mix of luxury facilities like conference facilities and banquet halls to private lounges and bars. There's a cliff-top spa and ballroom along with six tennis courts, three squash courts, indoor and outdoor multi-purpose courts, a rock climbing wall, and a swimming pool. Members can kick back in a choice of four restaurants. Getting in is a massive feat, including a lengthy waiting list, and if you finally make it to the top, you're still not in as you'll be put through a grueling series of membership interviews with the board of directors before you get the keys to the castle. The club is aimed at American expats living in Hong Kong. Membership will cost $56,500 a year, with a monthly fee of $330. Number 8. The Australian Club, Sydney The Australian Club was founded by the British settlers in 1838, who wanted a place to hobnob for the rich and powerful. Today, the club has modernized and although boasts traditional Victorian architecture, meets the modern needs of its members. From a fully equipped gym with personal trainers to an extensive library with private working spaces, the Australia Club is both for business and pleasure. The club's private dining is a favorite perk among members who can host dinner parties from 4 to 80 guests. The dress code is smart, so your guests will have to dress up. In the private club world, there's no such thing as a smart pair of jeans. It's perched on Macquarie Street, a well-known address with a view of the Botanic Gardens and North Shore. It's the perfect environment to network and cement your place among Australia's greats. Number 7. The 1930 Milan if you try to Google the opening times of this club, you won't be able to find an official source. Try to find it on maps, and it doesn't exist. This is the most secret and most eluded club on our list. With such a non-existent digital footprint, it might seem like we're making it all up. But we assure you, the 1930 in Milan is real. You can neither request, apply, nor buy your way in. Invite is by the club owner only. Hang out enough at his public bars, Barba or Mag Cafe, and you might just crack a personal invite to the 1930s speakeasy. Once accepted, you can't just waltz in. You need to proceed to a small, seedy oriental bar. If you're in the wrong place, then you're definitely in the right place. Show your badge, give the password, and the secret club will be revealed to you. Number 6. The Arts Club London in 1863, Charles Dickens and some of his friends founded the Arts Club in Hanover Square. It later moved to a larger location in Mayfair, London, where it remains today. It was a place for robust discussions on life, the universe, literature, and art. It was an exclusive club, and it still is today, with a joining fee of around $2,500 and a further $2,500 membership fee per year. 
The gorgeous townhouse has several floors offering bars, restaurants, and a garden to wine, dine, and enjoy the impressive art collection from. The decor is fit for royalty and above the club is an exclusive hotel with rooms that have actually hosted royalty. The cigar room is a veranda lounge with a well-stocked selection of the world's finest cigars, and the library has one of the finest collections of first edition books in the UK. The club is very active and hosts weekly talks, art exhibitions, and musical concerts. Number 5. Capital Club Dubai the Capital Club has been likened to a real-world LinkedIn. It's the place to meet the world's business and political leaders. It's not just an after-work hangout, but prides itself on hosting guest lectures, tackling some of the toughest issues in the world today. Sure, there are the usual luxuries and amenities you would expect from an exclusive luxury club like gyms, bars, lounges, and business suites. The club has just undergone some major renovations in preparation for the Expo in 2020 and the 50th anniversary of the United Arab Emirates. Application is by invite only, and applicants must undergo a stringent process to gain access. Number 4. The Core Club, New York since opening in 2005, the Core Club has become a must-attend exclusive club in the Big Apple. Every A-lister wants in, and it's the invite-only exclusivity that drives people nuts about being included. Once you go into the multi-story building, it's evident what all the fuss is about. The space contains everything from the usual lounges, bars, restaurants, gyms, and spas, to a screening room and gallery that hosts 300 events a year. A terrace for guests doubles as an open-air sculpture garden with revolving exhibitions. So, who can join? According to their website, they are an international community of minds, mavericks, and leaders. But their entry criteria is far more specific. Although they welcome a range of industries, the entry procedure is not a case of flashing your corporate entry tag and you're in. Members are encouraged to nominate new members. They take extreme care in selecting members and explain they're chosen by personalities with compelling individuality. We imagine this kind of privilege comes with a hefty price tag, but they're mum about the kind of green you'll have to part with to get the foot in the door. Rumor has it you're looking in the region of $50,000 initial membership fee, and then $17,000 a year to remain a member. Number 3. The Carnegie Club, Dornick, Scotland Andrew Carnegie is one of the wealthiest people in human history. Even though he died in 1919, by today's standards, he's up front on the list. He made his fortune in steel, but is remembered for his philanthropic acts, giving away the modern-day equivalent of around $65 billion, or 90% of his wealth. He founded the Carnegie Club at Skibo Castle, surrounded by Scottish Heather Moors. The place, straight out of a romantic novel, is a favorite location for the rich and royalty who can enjoy falconry, horse riding, fishing, clay pigeon shooting, and a round of golf. The difference with this club is the whole family can join the activities. It's not officially revealed, but it's believed the membership joining fee is upwards of $35,000, and they only have 350 members at a time. Number 2. Yellowstone Club, Big Sky, Montana You won't find a skyscraper in sight and you definitely won't be able to hail a cab after work to head to this club. Yellowstone Club is situated deep in the Rocky Mountains of Montana, so plan an overnight or week-long visit to this exclusive outdoor piece of heaven. The club is 52,200 acres of private land, complete with ski slopes, hiking trails, and a golf course. In the peak winter season, they boast powder weeks with perfect snow conditions that draw the likes of their members Justin Timberlake, Jennifer Garner, Jessica Biel, and Bill Gates. The club has around 800 members, each forking out upwards of $300,000 for their joining fee and then an annual membership of around $40,000. Condos on the properties have a price tag in the region of $4 million and a single family home is $5 million and up. Number 1. The Battery San Francisco The Battery in San Francisco is a philanthropic organization, but despite its outward generosity, it's really difficult to get in. The Battery is a community of people who are on the lookout for projects to fund, more specifically to fund projects that will change the world for the better. It was established in 2012 and it has all the benefits of a traditional club, like world-class sommeliers offering elite wine collections, health spas and gyms, bars, business lounges, and five-star guest accommodation. Yet it offers so much more. 
It's a club with a soul, and the whole family is invited to experience it. From children's movement classes to good old-fashioned house parties, they have plenty of holistic and wellness-focused events as well as the usual networking and power lunching you would expect in Silicon Valley. What you wouldn't expect from a club in the home of tech is an electronics curfew, which means at 6 p.m. all cell phones and laptops must be put away and members need to engage face-to-face. -face. Events are held regularly where members are asked to decide where to assign $1 million in grants at a time and how to divvy it up between the projects presenting their needs at an event. Surprisingly, membership is only around $2,500 annually, not much more than a swanky gym membership. But getting in is a bit more complicated, requiring nominations and then acceptance by the committee. They are clear they don't accept members who are just in it to boost their status, but rather members who get their culture of philanthropy. And Aluxers, here we are at the end of our list. Have you been to an exclusive club before? What would be the most important service you would look for in a private club? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. The Stack, Cape Town. Want to join a club a little off the beaten path? Check in at The Stack in Cape Town for a quirky, colorful club. This invite-only club offers members access to comfortable lounge and bar areas. A collection of local design and art adorns the building, and top local chefs cater for private dinners or business events. The most remarkable benefit? Members enjoy access to 32 other private clubs globally, and membership is around $1,000 a year. And this isn't the only club with reciprocation benefits, so look into your local clubs for details. It might be your way to get a foot in the door to some of the most elite clubs you've been dreaming of. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.